know you call them Hispanic, right? And you know that they're not Hispanic. No, they're not Hispanic. They're, they're the Israelites. Right. Hispanic means Hispanic. So when the Spanish came, you know the Hispanics are the original Taino here. The old race, we're, brother, that's what we're, we're preaching. We're, we're preaching that they're Tainos or the Israelites. No. You so-called Hispanics, you're not Hispanic. You're not, you're not Cuban. You're not, you're not Dominican. Right. You're not Puerto Rican. Right. You are from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. That's, that's what right. we're preaching, brother. You say it. That's what we're preaching. They brought us here. Absolute life. No, the conquistadors here. came over here and took them and brought them to Europe. We was already here. We know that, brother. The they came years. over here. The 10 tribes came over here. Get that, 2nd Ezra, read that. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 40. Bring it out. Those are the 10 tribes. Those are the who? The 10 tribes. The who? The 10 tribes. The 10 tribes make up Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, and so forth. Those are the 10 tribes of Israel, read. Which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, the king, who Salmanazah, the king of Assyria, led away captive. So, this is some history. In the Assyrian captivity, we got conquered by the Assyrians. And they, 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 they took the Israelites to slavery, to captivity, right? The Israelites, right, right. And he, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. But they took counsel among themselves. So now, fast forward. This is in the time of the Persian captivity, right. when King Cyrus gave us liberty to go back to Jerusalem. The ten tribes took counsel amongst themselves, right, Reed? But they took this counsel amongst themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. You hear that? They would leave the multitude of the heathen, Reed. And go forth unto a further country where never mankind dwelt. So it said they will go to a further country where never... Get us if I have a picture. This is my safe, my safe picture right there. So it says that they will go forth to a further country where never mankind dwelt. Read. That they, may, that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. So this, that's the reason why they wanted to leave because they couldn't keep the laws of God where they were at. So they said, you know what? We're going to leave and go somewhere where never mankind dwelt so we could keep God's laws. Read. And they, and they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the most high then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For their, for so they left from Israel. They went all the way around Africa, the bottom of Africa, and they came into the, into the waters, right? Read. For through that country, there was a great way to go, Come on. namely of a year and a half. It took them a year and a half to get to this side of the world, right? Read. And the same region is called Arsara. This region, <laughs> North, Central, South America, and the islands is called Arsara. Right. You're exactly right. The, the ten tribes, the so I got it already, I got it. The so-called Hispanics, they were over here. You're exactly right, so I don't even understand what the, what the, the argument is about, brother. No. We're saying the same thing, so let's read the definition of Osiris. Read. Right. Just press it. Got it? Come on. Osiris, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of men. Come on. In which the ten tribes... In which who? The ten tribes. The who? The ten tribes. The ten tribes is you so-called blacks. You Hispanics, you Puerto Ricans, you Cubans, you Dominicans, you... That's I say so-called, brother, because they're not Hispanic. They're the ten, the ten tribes of Israel. The natives, they're the ten tribes of Israel. Read. Which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration according to fourth Ezra. 1345. This is what we just read, read. Columbus identified. Who? Columbus identified. So Christopher Columbus read the Bible. This is how he knew that there was people on this side of the yeah, earth. Read. He went to India, Asia, Asia Minor, Asia, Africa. He said, listen, there's something that there's we don't know about. Right. Why? Because he read the Bible. He read 2nd Ezra 13 and 40, brother. This is what we proved it. Read. Columbus identified America with this land. That's it? That's it. Columbus identified also with America with this land. So I got a question for you, brother. With all that being said, it's good to know these things. It's good. But what is it going to do for your salvation? Right. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Right. 
Matthews, 1916. Hold on. So I was very sure. A free gift. Yeah. Okay, when the intellectualize and everything like that, I know I have to live a better life mentally and physically. Right. I do have to do that. You know what I'm saying? And we can like go through all the words and like that. I know that I really do. I really do. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, but we're gonna I, bring I, it out for you and for the people, brother. Right, right. We're gonna bring it out for you and for the but people because it's a free gift. Because you can't do nothing. Dude. No, you got you gotta do something to get it's free. It, 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 bro, 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 bro. No, Listen, bro. We're gonna get it out of Christ's mouth right. and see what Christ said. Well, God, the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. That's, That's right. Hold on, go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this young man came to Christ, a fellow Israelite man came to Christ and said, Christ, what do I got to do to make it to the kingdom of heaven? What is it? So it is something that you have to do. Christ, let's see what Christ told him. Read. And he said unto him, why cause thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou would enter into life. But if you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven, what do you got to do? Keep the commandments. What do you got to do? Keep the commandments. What you got to do? Keep the commandments. You must keep the commandments of God, brother. You must keep the commandments. See, over 600 commandments. What are the two? The greatest? Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love thy brother. And so, so, so all right, so we're going we gonna to break down the two commandments. We're going to break them two down. Give me um, what the love of God is. First John 5 and 3. We're going to see how do you love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. We're going to find out. We're going to break down the two. Because those two sum up all the commandments. So we're going to break it down for you. We're going to break it down. Come on. The book of First John. Chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. So this is how you love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Read. That we keep his commandments. That you keep the commandments. It's saying the same thing, brother. So now give me um, Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Bring it out. This is how you love your, um, your, your neighbor, the second greatest commandment. He's going to sum it all up in this, brother. Come on. Romans 13, verse 8. Read. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Bring it out. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loves. So that's what you said to love your neighbor, your neighbor as yourself, right? And only, and only, that's that's the second greatest commandment. Right? And only one. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So by you loving your neighbor, you have fulfilled all the law, right? Let's let's keep reading that. There's more on that. Let's see what laws you fulfill when you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Read. For this. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So when you love your neighbor as you love yourself, you're keeping the law. Don't commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. So when you love your neighbor as yourself, you ain't gonna kill. Thou shalt not steal. When you love your neighbor as yourself, you're not gonna steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. When you love your neighbor as yourself, you ain't gonna lie to your brother. Thou shalt not covet. And when you love your neighbor as yourself, you ain't gonna cover it. Right. I ain't gonna see what you got and I'm gonna take it because you got it. Right. That's loving your neighbor as yourself. Right. You fulfill all the law when you, lo when you love your neighbor as you love yourself. What commandment guarantees you something? And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So we just summed it up what it means to love your neighbor. To love your neighbor means you won't keep all the laws, brother. That's right. Let me just ask you, what commandment guarantees you something? You tell me. What is that? Where is that? So, just by keeping that one law, you gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven? No, that guarantees you something on earth. Yeah, life. It allows a long life. That's what it guarantees you. When you love your mother and you love your honor your mother and father, that's guaranteed you a long life. But it, but it takes more than that. It takes you more than that, though, brother. You don't just need that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm with y'all. Oh, okay. All praises. All praises. Our uh, praises. Yeah, because your mother and father are supposed to be teaching. They're supposed to be teaching you guys laws. That's, right. That's what they're supposed to be teaching you. That guarantees you something here. Galatians 6 and 1. Ephesians 6 and 1. Yeah, but we don't got to get it. We got to get it. He got it. He got it. 
So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you another law. I'm gonna give you another law. Numbers 1538. Numbers 1538. Because we we need to keep the commandments, bro. That's what we missing. We've been doing Christianity. We've been doing this guy for over 400 years, bro. When are we gonna change? When are we gonna switch it up? When are we gonna try something else? We tried Islam. We tried Buddha. We tried Mormons. We tried everything, bro. But we haven't tried the laws of God. We haven't tried the laws of God, bro. What would you name that though? Proverbs 4 and 2. What will we name it? I'm gonna show you what we're gonna name it. I'm gonna show you. I ain't gonna show you what we name it. I'm gonna show you what God name it. I'm gonna show you what God name it. Proverbs 4 and 2. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 2. For I give you good doctrine. He gave us good doctrine. That's what we call it. Read. Forsake ye not my law. The doctrine is the laws of God. Our religion is the laws of God, brother. That's what we keep it. That's what we're rolling with. Um, Revelation 14 12. That's what we rolling with, bro. We rolling with the laws of God and the faith of Christ, right. bro. I believe, I believe in Christ. I believe in Christ. Trust me. That's it. That's all we rocking with, bro. I believe in Christ. All praises. But you got to keep Everybody the commandments. Right and you can't just have Christ and no commandments. You can't just have commandments and no Christ. We're going to read it. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You need both, bro. You need both. You need to keep God's commandments, and you gotta have faith in the black Messiah. That's right. That's coming to save only the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. You need both. All right, so let's get numbers 1538 for the brother. Like I said, bro, you, you need the commandments, bro. We ain't gonna make it out of here. We tried everything. We tried white Jesus. We tried more. We tried everything under the sun, bro. But we haven't tried God's laws. We have not tried God's laws, bro. And that's what we out here to push. We gonna we pushing God's commandments. That says the Lord. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. And that's who you are, bro. We are from the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Read. And bid them that they made them fringes in the borders of the garments throughout the generations. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you gotta have fringes on your clothes, brother. You gotta get these on your clothes with the ribbon of blue. Now we're gonna get what the purpose of it is, right? Read. And and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So it's a reminder it's for us to keep the commandments, brother. For example, if I if I see if I got hatred for my brother, I bear hatred. I look at my uh, my, my fringes and I remember that should I hate thy brother in thy heart. That's right. This is what the commandments for. If I see, a, I know I got a wife. I see a pretty sister walking down the street. I want to go talk to her. I look down. I'm can't commit look, can't I'm commit adultery. So you understand the purpose of the fringes, brother. All praises, bro. I've never heard that. All, I've read it. I've never, all right, all praises, bro. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram,
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.